thank you for joining us. We on August 22nd are going to be celebrating National Flight of the Monarch Day. And on that day, what we're asking you to do is to head outside, go see and find as many monarch butterflies and monarch caterpillars as you can, take pictures of as many of them as you can and share with us on social media. So just share your photos in the comments below this and tag those pictures to this. But before you can do that, you're gonna have to know how to identify a monarch butterfly. So monarch butterflies are fairly large. They're about three and a half to four inches. They have beautiful orange wings. Around the outside of those wings are black with white spots. The back of their body is like a fuzzy dark brown and their head and the underside of their body is black with white spots on it. And on their wings, on their orange part of the wings, they have these black veins that are running through it. And on the males, on the veins really close to their body, they have these two spots and only the males have those two little black spots, the females don't. So that's how you can tell the difference between males and females. So our monarch caterpillars, they, uh, they go through a growth period. So sometimes they're super tiny and other times they can get up to about almost three inches long and they're yellow, white and black striped. They have two antenna on the front of their head and it looks like they have two more on the rear end but those are actually tentacles and the antenna on their front of their head help them smell and find their food whereas the tentacles on their rear end help them sort of find where they're going and some people think that it might uh, confuse predators to, so they don't know which end is the head and which end isn't. And we also have our milkweed. So here at Y Marsh, we have our sort of two common plants that we find are the common milkweed and the swamp milkweed. Common milkweed has these really broad, wide leaves and the stem is sort of this nice smooth stem and underneath the leaves they have this super soft hairs. Now on my guy here it's already gone to seed but on milkweed they have, so on both species, they have these beautiful pink flowers uh, and they come in almost like a almost a circular shape, a whole clump on the top of these little pink flowers. And each one of those little pink flowers, so the top part of the pink flower, is called the corona. And then folded down around that, it has five petals and five septals. And uh, the whole thing makes, and we call it an umbel, is the shape that it makes. On the swamp milkweed, so it is almost exactly the same as the common milkweed. It still has the fuzzy leaves, it has a fuzzy stem, same sort of pink little flowers, but their leaves are a little bit different. They're longer and narrower and they come to a point. Both the common and the swamp milkweed, their leaves are opposite each other all the way up the stem and uh, they grow to about Average is about a meter, so they're half a meter to two meters tall, but generally when I see them are about a meter tall. All right, so now that you know how to identify monarch butterflies, you know how to identify the caterpillars, and you know how to identify the plants that they would be hanging out on, most likely, um, we are asking that you get outside and find some of these guys and share them with us. I hope you have a great time. Thank you so much.